Okay folks, hello YouTube. Um, I just wanted to say, there's a quote that I heard recently coming from a guy called Peter Brabeck Letmath. And he's the former CEO and the current chairman of the company Nestle. And Nestle is the number one supplier of bottled water in anywhere in the world. So they sell the most bottled water, okay? Now, he said access to public water should access to water should not be a public right to quote exactly it says access to water should not be a public right quote unquote okay my my statement my message for him right is that he needs to learn compassion man if what's the alternative if if access to water is not a public right what's the alternative just like for instance when people haven't got access to the things they need if it's a necessity for life like water is what do people do what's the alternative so just for instance Let's say people don't have access to food, like a homeless person, for instance, might not have access to food. Well, what can they do about it? Let's say there's three options. One, they can manage to find a way to pay for it, like get a job, but sometimes you can't get a job in just a few days. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay? Some areas that it's harder to find a job than others. Then option two would be they don't get access. They don't get access to water and they die. That's it. Or option three, which is the most likely one, I feel, is that that person will then, because they've not got access to water and they can't afford access to water, they'll go and they'll steal. They'll do what they need to do. They'll involve themselves in criminal activity for the sake of trying to pay for water. Okay, because what's the other option? The other option is have no water and die. So, just my message to you, Peter Brobeck, let math, is that you need to learn compassion because it's very easy to say that public water should not, well, access to water should not be a public right. It's very easy to say that when you are wealthy enough to always be able to afford access to water for yourself. If water wasn't a public right, you're rich enough and wealthy enough to always afford the access to the water. Not everybody is, and the people that aren't are gonna suffer big time. So you need to learn compassion for those people. And rather than thinking about what's profitable for your business, and for the people that you work for and for yourselves, think about what's most efficient as a decision for humanity. So I'm, I'm not saying you're a bad person, I'm saying that it's a bad decision. It's a bad decision, it's a bad statement. So take the time to think about it. I'd recommend that you learn about human behaviour, efficiency, technology, ways that we can produce clean water. I recommend that you look at the Zeitgeist Movement by Peter Joseph and the Venus Project of Jacques Fresco. And study human behaviour from B.F. Skinner and Alfred Korzybski, for instance, and you'll learn about the way humans behave because if they don't have access to the necessities of life, they'll do whatever they need to to get those necessities to the access. Um, they'll do whatever they need in order to have access to those necessities. So I'd recommend looking those up. Okay? So I'm not saying I hate you, but it's a shitty decision, though. Peace and love.